Hey, Lee here with the poll list for March 28th, 2012, presented by longboxradio.com. Uh, we got a preview book this week. Uh, on one side here, we have a little preview for The Massive uh, from Brian Wood and Christian Donaldson on one side. And then a little bit of a, uh, a Watchmen thing on the other side. Of course, the previews is uh, where to go for all the uh, the new books and toys and stuff that are coming out. So I always pick that, that up every month. It's like four fifty. Totally worth it. Got a free book coming from Marvel. Uh, this is to promote their Marvel Universe on X Disney XD thing. It is an Ultimate Spider-Man premiere comic. Uh, and, of course, the animation and stuff are pretty much stills right from the cartoon itself. So, if you want to get a feel for what that cartoon's going to be like, uh, it's a free comic book. Just grab a copy. Check it out. Uh, Paul Dini is actually the episode writer on, I think, the majority of the show. So, that'll be really cool. So... <clears throat> to DC, we have All-Star Western 7, one of the better New 52 books, uh, if you ask me or Mike. Um, definitely cool cover there. Looking forward to this one. Usually a very, very good book. Um, Aquaman as well. Uh, Jeff John's still in the book. I think, is that switching sometime soon? I don't know. I don't know why I'm asking you. You're not going to answer. But uh, yeah, been a cool book. Uh, making you know Aquaman kind of relevant. Uh, he is kind of like a Joe character. Jeff John's has addressed that in this book and try to make him a little more, a little more badass. So definitely been sticking on that book. Uh, we have The Flash, of course, notoriously, uh, Flash 6 was kind of panned by, uh, myself, Mike, and Rob, didn't like kind of what's going on there. Here we have number 7, Francis Manipole and Brian, uh, Busilato, sorry, um, really, really cool cover. Again, Francis Manipole's, like, art for Flash is second to none, but the writing is suffering on this book, uh, so kind of want to see where that one goes, um. Justice League Dark, number seven, which is the beginning of the tie-in with I, Vampire, which I think was also out this week or next week. I won't be picking up that book, so hopefully with just reading Justice League Dark, I'll kind of get an idea of what's going on. But this has been a really cool book as well, kind of off the beaten path kind of title. Uh, Savage Hawkman, uh, one of the books that Rob Liefeld has reported is just dropping off a cliff. I've liked this book. I like the art. The writing's fine. Uh, you know, not the strongest New 52 book, but I have liked uh, Savage Hawkman, so still uh, still enjoying that one. Really cool arc right now, too, with Gentleman Ghost kind of taking the uh, the main antagonist role. Uh, from Brian Azzarello, we have Spaceman number 5 of 9. Uh, I've praised this book a whole lot. Really, really neat, uh, obscure writing. The story's very, very strange, but, uh, but it kind of boils down to a uh, kidnapping plot. So, super cool. Spaceman, check it out. Uh, Superman has changed writers as of this week. Keith, Keith Giffen is on it, uh, as well as Dan Jurgens. I, I don't know if I'll be staying on this book long after that. We'll see what they do with the book. Uh, neither of those guys has really produced anything recently that I really took a liking to. But, uh, yeah, there you have it. Uh, new, new writers on Superman, one of the first books I've noticed that really changed writers aside from like Green Arrow and stuff like that. So, uh, over to Image, we have Alpha Girl, number two. I enjoyed the first issue. Uh, really kind of quirky art style. Uh, interesting, interesting take on like a zombie story where cosmetic, I believe it's like makeup or something. It makes everybody like kind of insane. Uh, super neat book. So that's from Image. Also from Image, we have Morning Glories from Nick Spencer and Joe Azima. Uh, super cool cover there. Been a great book. Me and Ramel like the heck out of this book. Um, you know, all you Lost fans, pick it up because nothing will ever be answered ever. Uh, moving on to Walking Dead, uh, which is The Larger World Part 3. Uh, pretty, you know, violent cover there, I guess. Uh, been kind of a slow-moving book. Um, as of late, I know Rob kind of kind of caught up and he, he felt the same way. Um, I, I still enjoy it. Like, it's still very well written. Uh, and, and worth picking up every time, but I think in a trade, this would work a lot better than, uh, than it is right now in single issues. Uh, over to Marvel, big, big week for Marvel, we have Avengers, uh, 24.1, from by Michael Bendis, we have the Vision on the cover there, that's super cool, and of course, the big story this week out of Marvel is, uh, Avengers vs. X-Men starts, this is the Zero issue, which has been selling out quite a, quite a few places, apparently, um, yeah, there it is. Uh, uh, Avenging Spider-Man, number uh, number five here. Uh, really, really cool cover there, I, I think, anyway. Spider-Man and uh, Captain America going to be teaming up in this one. Zeb Wells still writing the book. Lionel Francis Yu is doing the art on this one, so that's going to be awesome. Uh, Daredevil, amazing cover. Almost the cover of the week. I gave it to Avengers vs. X-Men because that's more topical, I guess. But look at that thing. That's beautiful. Um... Uh, Wow, this, this board is all chewed up by something. Anyway, really cool storyline going in that one. If you haven't been reading Daredevil, definitely get on. I like that they left everything off of it except for the barcode and the Marvel thing on the top. The writers and stuff are all on the inside cover. So to not obscure the artwork, that one's super cool. Uh, FF from Jonathan Hickman. Uh, the Fantastic Four kind of concluded their giant... Uh, you know, story arc that's been going on pretty much since Jonathan Hickman got back on the book. Like, we're talking back, like, volume one of, like, the most recent Fantastic Four run kind of things were put in motion that finally kind of wrapped up. So, this will be probably a big falling action, but that's okay, because that book's been action-packed for quite a while now. Ghost Rider, this is the last issue of Ghost Rider. Uh, it's issue nine. Um, 
I don't know. Alejandra is Ghost Rider. I mean, I prefer Johnny Blaze. She hasn't. There's nothing about her that's made me be like, oh man, that sucks that that book is ending because I want to hear more about her. Not really. In Circle of Four, when I thought Johnny Blaze was going to become the Ghost Rider again, I'm like, oh yeah. Well, there's there's a good way to retcon it, but no, they didn't do that. So we'll see what happens with that. Second last issue of Moon Knight from Brian Michael Bendis and uh, Alex Maleev. Cover great as always. Art inside is probably going to be a lot of the same. Uh, definitely check it out. It's only 12 issues long. It's going to make one hell of a trade paperback when that comes out. Uh, but hey, buy the single issues as well. Uh, New Avengers. We have the New Avengers uh, facing off against Scar there. And if you read uh, Avengers, I think, 23, you'll learn that this is more the aftermath of what happens with the, the Dark Avengers, which have more or less been written off in the Avengers plot. So uh, after this, I don't know where New Avengers is going. Maybe a tie-in to Avengers vs. X-Men. I don't know. But has been a super cool book. The art's been amazing on this book. All the same from uh, Mike Diodato. Uh, definitely check it out. Really love New Avengers. Uh, still going with Marvel. Christ. Secret Avengers, number 24 from Rick Remender. Uh, really liked the last issue of this. Rick Remender is, man, that guy's got the Midas touch. The, he took over Secret Avengers. It's been great. Looking real forward to this one. Um, over to John Hickman again with Ultimates. Uh, I was talking to Justin at Galaxy Comics today, or where I pick up my comics, and he says, if John Hickman, if any, if anyone could take over like the 616 Avengers and make something really crazy out of it, it would be this guy. Uh, the last issue of this was awesome. Uh, we have the city is now going to be attacking uh, Nick Fury and attacking the Zorn and Zorn and stuff like that. Just just insanity, and uh, Hulk's pretty pissed off, and I won't really spoil why, but uh, he's taking the fight to them, as you can tell by the cover. So, super cool book. And finally, we have Uncanny X-Force this week, number 23. Still a book I have to catch up on. I'm going to stop saying that and just probably do it one of these days. But I am missing two issues I'll probably just download digitally, as I've probably also said. Um, we are making the podcast a weekly thing now. We're going to do Friday nights, uh, one week, Sunday nights, the other. So regardless, Monday mornings you should have our uh, our new podcast. Uh, it might be a little more of a workload and stuff like that, but we, we find the podcasts are running longer now that we have more to say. So splitting it into a weekly cast. If we can get it to work, uh, we'll kind of shorten them and make it more more topical. So we're not talking about two-week-old books all the time and stuff like that. So we'll see what happens with that. Pay attention to Longbox Radio. Go check it out. Subscribe. Tell your friends. Uh, definitely we want feedback. We want to know what, what you want out of the podcast. Uh, if you have a creator own book or you have a book that we've never talked about that you think we really should you want our take on it definitely let us know uh, you know send us an email we're, we're all pretty friendly guys so do that please anyway that is the pull list for the 28th of March uh, we're right on to April next uh, next week Adventures vs. X-Men in full swing uh, a lot of changes coming to the new 52 and of course a lot of new books from Image as always so uh, we'll see you then Lee signing out